so welcome back all of you nona here and then we are into the next day's program of this uh, fusion order management implementation we are going to go to the next topic now it's called defaulting so let us now have a look at the defaulting now <clears throat> One minute, I am now having a cup of kanji now. <laughs> now we are going to go to the defaulting now. I click on sign. So let us go there. We'll go to the setup and maintenance. Go to the task. It is manage order lookups. I go to the manage order lookups and then I will now query for uh, ORA DOO percentage ORDER order. So ORA DOO order. <coughs> Wait, no. ORA DOO order type. This is what So this is the order transaction type actually. The order type means what order transaction type. So order transaction type we are now going to create. We have already created two order transaction types. One is what K99 no reservation, K99 no scheduling. Now I am now going to create another order type called what defaulting. I click on plus. We'll now create a new one called order defaulting. <clears throat> so the lookup code I will now say K99 underscore defaulting. Now take out it and then along give a display sequence now and you can even leave it as such now doesn't matter and then give the meaning and then give a description so order type or order transaction types are used for two things one is for what custom do and then one for defaulting so there are only two purposes now either you can create a custom do or otherwise defaulting we can use it now fine go there click on save and close now <coughs> no matter so it is now completed now fine, go there. Fine. now we'll now go for the order now fine, go, there. go to the manage percentage sales percentage order percentage Hello, query on this point. So, if you go to the manage process assignment rules for sales orders, we can use the order type for changing uh, the root of your of, of sales order flow now. With a custom do, we can very well do it now. Fine. So, that is possible. Otherwise, we will not use the pre transformation rules. This is nothing but defaulting. Manage pre transformation rules involving. This is for changing the do. This is for changing the do. So, only for these two purposes, your order transaction types are used. Actually. I will now go to the manage pre transformation rules for sales orders now. I will click on it. I will now create a, click on create a new rule now. So it's an excellent visual builder actually. We will now give a description also. I will now say K99 default. We can give a de description over here in the top now. And then here again the if condition also we can give a description. I click on it now. We will now give a description for the if condition also. So it is a if then else statement, a simple statement, nothing else is there. I will not, so here I will now say again. K99 uh, uh, sales default. So give a meaningful name on everywhere now. Now I will now give what a condition now. And click on this condition now. You're going to give a condition. Click on it. Well, say, this attribute is what customer. So this is where I want uh, Vignesh help. Now there are plenty of attributes other. I am now putting COST is now coming. So we have to identify all the things now. But not the customer actually order type actually. I will not put order type. Order type is a one. So I will not say order type. Order type order header. If the order type is equivalent to drop down, I will not choose what defaulting. If I'm going to put this is the order type is defaulting, I click on OK now. <clears throat> it's not a, a so we can even have multiple conditions also with that now. So we have already seen on the approvals how to put multiple conditions where the customer is going to so and so and then the order quantity is greater than 50. So likewise you can do it. Or oring and the ending and oring we can now form the if condition actually. We'll now go to the then, then then what happens? I give a do now, and then do. <clears throat> so here I'm not going to do now. I will now set the value actually. I click on it now. I'll now set a value to this. Set a value to this now. Click on set a value on this now. Set a value. I will now say varos. <coughs> varos I'm going to set up. So where where was the header? I'm going to set up now. Find click on it. I will now set to find, go to the magnifier icon and then query now. Find the key ninety nine. 
and then click on search now. <coughs> so I'm not choosing child two. Why child one is not coming? How come? Come on, child one has to come now. Ah, the child one is not coming. The arrow's name at all. So K nine, and then make a search now. Oh God, I don't understand now. What happened now? I'm going to go to the advanced now. I will also say it's not blank and then make a query now. Click on search now. Don't go down. K99 child was there, but K99 child one is not there at all. Something I might have made, I know, I'm not sure, but click on okay. Some mistake. So click on it. Now, this is now made. If this is the defaulting rule, then arrows will be automatically set to say child two. Now. So give a save and close now. You're saving and closing it now. So now it's what's called uh, uh, the new rule now. I click on it. We are given a name also for the rule now. K99 something we are given now. New rule. Okay. Here in the description we are given not on the name actually. Only in the description we are given not on the name now. So here I will now activate the rule and then I will now give a start date now. As today's date. And then save and close now. Now the color will change. The color is changing. I will now publish this rule. So click on publish and publish again. So click on OK now. Now I will now go on the test it now and duplicate it. We are going to make a test now. Go there. Click on sales orders, order management. And then we go to the sales orders now, order management. And then open up a new sales order. Click on create new sales order. So let me put the customer over here now. So go there. I will now say K99 cust one. I'm going to put it now. And then the moment I put the order transaction date, you can now see in the in this area on the barrows area, you can now see on the supply the barrows will be coming. In the supply, you can now see the barrows coming. I will drop it down and then choose our defaulting one. So K99 defaulting and moving now. I'm not putting the order transaction. The moment I put it, the barrows is coming. And then this can be used for very complex things actually. Fine, my students have done a lot on this now. So I will now show you one thing now. And uh, I'm, uh, it's a very powerful tool like EBS now. Fine. Like, so if the order date is so and so, uh, what happens is that all six. So the requested date can be only two days afterwards. Let us say the sales person is now uh, doing it now, uh, doing a sales order. And then it will now take around 48 hours for them to manufacture it now. So by default, they wanted the requested date to be shifted by two days from the ordered date actually. So this I am going to do it now. Fine, click on it. We will not do this now. Click on it. We will not edit this one. Fine, click on it. Actions and then edit now. We are going to edit it now. Go there. So here in this place, we will now give an and now. Fine, click on and now. And, and then I am going to set a value now. Fine, I am going to set a value for the uh, whatever the requested date. R E Q U E S T E D. Requested date. So the requested date. I am going to put it now. Anything? Requested type, uh, requested arrival date, uh, requested ship date. It's fine. Requested ship date is the one the line level. So yeah. requested bit, the header level. <clears throat> it is set to fine. Here, what happens? I'm now going to go and then put an attribute over here. Yeah, hello. Yeah, tell me. Yeah, yes, sir. Good morning. Sorry. Good morning. Yeah. Okay, okay, fine. Okay. <clears throat> so now requested ship date is now going to be what? It is going to be ordered date plus two now. Fine, it's going to be ordered date plus two. So instead of what happens, the request is set to so and so value. I will now use an attribute now. Find the bottom there is an attribute. Fine, click on attribute. I will now choose the attribute. What happens? We'll go there. Attribute is what? Ordered date. O D O D D. Ordered date. <clears throat> so I'm putting an order date. So here, ordered date plus two is a one. So what I'm doing is I will now go there and then use the arithmetic now. Fine. There is add arithmetic to this now. So click on this. After adding the attribute, I'm adding the arithmetic now. I will now say two days. Fine, adding is. Plus two days. I can even choose a lot of things now. Fine, plus or minus, whatever it is. For plus two days. No doing it. Two days. Click on OK now. And that's it. It is now set. So requested date is set to order date plus two days. Fine. Order date plus two days. That is what it is. Fine. Give us a one close and then again publish it now. So click on publish now. I will now publish this. So this is now getting published. Thank you, Connors. <clears throat> you go there. And then here, I will now remove this date now. And then in this place, whatever we go there, remove the supply type also. What is this? Okay, it is not asking. It needs some date actually. I will now put today's date itself. And then here, I will now go to the supply now. 
I'm going to you know, remove this one. I'm going to you know, remove this now. Now, once when I give a change, what happens? You can also see the supply will be coming, and then the gentle tab region, it will be 14th actually. You can also see. I click on it. It will now be. I will now put the defaulting now. I click on it. Now you can see it has now gone to 14th now, and then the supply you are not getting it now. Now I had a requirement from one of the customers actually. So ordered date is this now. The requested date is now two days shifted. The scheduled ship date has to be shifted from the requested date by three days now. That is not working for me. Uh, I will not see, but uh, now Vignesh or others will not make an R&D on this now, fine. I want the scheduled ship date to be 17th actually, fine. I tried it, it was not working. I, I don't know, it's called a cascading defaults actually. So go to the actions and then I will not edit now. I will not make a cascading defaults. So click on it now. Here we go there. I will not give add. Fine. I will not set the scheduled ship date. Fine. Set a value now. So add and then another thing. Fine. It's a scheduled ship date. Okay. Scheduled ship date. In the scheduled ship date on the order fulfillment line, fine. where the scheduled ship date it is not coming on the line line level only, scheduled ship date will be coming. Line level only. I will not put an attribute now. Fine. Click on this. Instead of date, whatever they will not choose an attribute over here now. Attribute is what? The requested date now. Fine. Requested date, requested ship date on the line. Fine. Requested ship date on the line. I will now add arithmetic to it now. Fine. Click on add arithmetic. So requested ship date plus three now, or some day plus five now. I'm not putting plus five. So click on OK now. So it is now set. Fine. We have this now. So the scheduled ship date is now set to what? Requested ship date plus five days now. And then the requested ship date is now getting shifted by two days now. Fine. It is now shifted by two days. Okay, man. Give a save and close, and then it does not publish. So go there, click on publish, and then I'm going to publish it. This is not publish, man. Click on publish. Yeah, publishing it. Now let us now open up a new sales order and see it now. Cancel now. Open up a new sales order and see it. <clears throat> click on create order now. Go there. It's K99 underscore cast one now. Now, let me go on and put my order type over there. So, choose the order type now. Order type is what? So, K99 uh, defaulting now. K99 defaulting. And then there, I will not, the moment I put it, I will not go to this place now. Fine. You know, in this place, on the supply area, you will not find, oh, okay, the warehouse is not coming at all. Come on. In this place, it is not, it is not firing at all. Why it's not? Maybe upon saving it will fire or I'm not sure about it. Just to fire now. It is not firing. So I know I know remove it and then again do it now. Fine, click on remove it now. I will again drop it down and then choose it now. Okay, and again defaulting, put it has to become 14th now. It is not becoming. But what I do is if I go and then do on the order date plus two, it is working actually. The order date plus something request today is working. Order date plus schedule ship date it is working now. But if I give this combination of a cascading default, it is not working actually. This is where uh, Vignesh here to sit and do it now. You analyze it now. Now let us now go and then make a change now. And let me go edit now. Now scheduled ship date also. What I'm going to do is I will not do it uh, ship from ordered date and not from the requested ship date. When I am linking to the previous one, it is not working. Fine, click on it now. I will not schedule. Make a change now. Fine, click on it. I will not make a change. It's ordered date. I will not put attribute is what ordered date. Order date. <clears throat> and then I will not shift it to five days. This time it will work, I think. Everything shifted from order date is working, but cascading defaults is not working. EBS it works perfectly actually. Click on save now. In order. So go there, click on publish now. I'm going to publish it. Click on S now. Publish. It will be done. Now, if you go there and see, it's not fine with that. Click on it. I will now remove this and then introduce this. Not fine with that. Click on it. No, introduce it. Click on it. No, introduce it. So put the default. But again, it's not working. Why? Well, so I published it now. But then the publishing is there. You are it. Start date is there. Active is there. Everything is there now. Click on publish now. This action will publish all the changes, including those that are okay. When you want to click on yes now. So I'll publish now. It will not publish directly successfully. Ah, what happened? <clears throat> Something back is working and then not, not working. Click on create order now. So customer is K99. 
I will not choose the custom one now. Then go down. I will not choose the order type as well or defaulting now. Key went in defaulting, putting it now. Go there. So go to the warehouse area. And then you can also see it's not shifted actually. The supply area is not coming. Oh, why it's so the multiple levels is not working or it will work definitely. I have seen it. Excellently, it works now. And so many things we can default on this now. It's not also working. Quite so. What is the mistake here? Is there any mistake here? So if we call it now. It is now scheduled ship date is set to order date plus five now. And then here requested date is shifted now. Order date plus two now. Let me delete it now. I will click on it and delete it now. I want to delete it now. Is there any X mark is there? I want to delete it actually. So select and then delete everything. Select and then click on delete now. I'm deleting it. So select and then it goes over here now. Otherwise, this is selection. And then, uh, yeah, this selected and then I will not delete it now. Selected, the select tick mark is coming now. Right click and then delete now. Not right click actually. Uh, how to delete it? Come on. It is not selected actually. And then, uh, how to delete it? It worked perfectly actually. Fine. Only cascading didn't work. When I referred to the order date, it was working perfectly now. Does it work with the delete button? Uh, delete button, where is the delete button actually? No, no, I am saying our normal keyboard delete button. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, keyboard delete only I was trying now. I was trying with the keyboard delete, it is not working at all. And I have now selected now. And then I will now use the keyboard delete, it is not working. Uh, uh, oh. Is there any delete, explicit delete here? Actions, I will now go to the actions now. The actions screen. Uh, this is all extensible flux fields with it. This is the way it works actually. Uh, what is this plus more overview? It comes over here. I will not give a delete now. Is there any for the delete now? No for the delete is available. Value and the next is attribute, next is what arithmetic only. So click on okay. Schedule should be the order date. Selection and then that will be the, yeah, here there is a delete. So trash bin, let me try to put it on this trash bin now. The select the action based on the schedule ship date will be deleted. Okay, when we call it. So that is so the, the right hand side is there. So I will now put only this and then give a save and then see whether it works or not. I give a save and then I will now publish it now. Click on publish. <clears throat> Publishing it. Go there, click on it now. Now I will now remove it and then introduce it now. Introduce it now. Go to the supply and then general travel, whatever is not working. It's not working. I don't know why it didn't work at all. It worked actually. When I am shifting it from order date, the requested date, and then order date, the schedule, everything is referring the header, header value, the lines value are getting defaulted. But when I refer again a line level and then do a cascading default, it is not working. So Vignesh, Try to find out about how to do that because it was another requirement in the Saudi company for us. Now I couldn't do it. No? <laughs> you wanted to have so many things shifted from the requested date actually. The schedule to ship date, schedule the arrival date, everything he wants shipped date. Actually. And rather, I feel it whenever I do it from the order date, it was working, but not on the requested date actually. Getting it, Vignesh? Okay. Hello, is he there? I think he's more there. Mm -hmm. Okay. <clears throat> Try to find out now. Fine. So this is on the defaulting, and then uh, defaulting is a very powerful tool. We can do wonders on this knowledge. So mm -hmm. many things can be done. Only thing is we have to first of all analyze how many such things are available now in any place. How many such attributes are available here? Now? This place you must analyze how many attributes are available here. But you give it now. You must be able to analyze the attributes. If you see A, we'll have plenty of attributes now. B, plenty of attributes. You must have first of all a list of values on this one. Then only uh, we can uh, do it. Now. Fine. There is no such a delimit list of values. Plenty, plenty are available. Mm. So try to make an R&D. I am not also getting a good uh, metallic note actually. Fine. If I get it, I would have analyzed it. Uh, 
I am not getting a good defaulting goals. So try and then uh, if you are getting anything and then if you get notes also you, you forward to me, I will do it. So this is on the defaulting rules. <clears throat> the manager orders, if you go to the what's called warehouse now, and we are able to, unable to get the what's called this thing, no? click on it. and then go to the supply area and then uh, I will not say K99. The first warehouse has to come up. It's coming here. I don't know where there it's not coming. Here it's coming. But there I am unable to choose this also. You know, all the problem I don't know. Okay, next is a processing constraints. So the processing constraints is again a very powerful one. And then it is a powerful than EBS actually. It is powerful than EBS now. We'll go on and have a look at it now. So on your fusion order management documentation, we have a document called processing constraints. It's even powerful than EBS now. I have simulated a case now, fine, just for demonstration purposes, but it can do wonders on this now. Fine. It is even powerful than EBS now. Fine. The processing constraints you can see. So I have taken one uh, fictitious uh, scenario. If the requested ship date fine, is less than the system date, that means what? The customer wants it yesterday itself. Other way, do not allow to submit the order at all. If such a thing happens, do not allow to submit the order. So we are now writing a custom PC, a processing constraint, we are now writing it. There are so many seeded PCs are available here, which is going to protect your sales orders already. And then apart from that, we can write our own custom PC to protect the data actually. So I'm now going to have a fictitious situation in which what about the, the request ship date is less than the system date. Do not allow the submission of the sales order. So let us see how to do it now. We'll now go to the task called manage processing constraints now. We'll go there. We'll now have a look. <clears throat> go to space. Set up and maintenance. Click on search. It is a manage processing constraints. So here, I'm not going, I'm not going. so create a record set first of all. We may have to create a first record set. No fine. So we are now going to see what requested ship date we are going to work upon on this. We will now go to the record set and then we will now create it. I will now go to the record set now. So the first activity is to create a record set. Click on plus. So I will now say uh, here what happens is now record, requested ship date actually. I will now say K99 underscore uh, requested ship date. Find date. I'm putting it now. Fine. Requested ship date on which what happened. We're going to work upon. So take it away and put in the description now. I'll not put in the description. I'll go click on it. And then here I will now give a short name for this. One. So I will now say it's a K99 underscore requested ship date. A short name has been given now. So here it is order header. On the order header, we are going to do it. So drop it on. There are plenty of things are there. So I'm now choosing it on order header now. It is not a predefined one. The predefined one will be coming with a tick mark, and then that you cannot modify. Only whatever you are creating it, you can modify it. So then what happens? You go down. I will now give a save at this stage. I give a save. So having given this record set, you must select at least one column for the record set now. At least one column for this record set. That means what? We have to add something, then only we can save. Otherwise, it's not having it. So in the bottom, what happens? You go there. I will now say it is a, a you give it drop and then what happens? You know, click on plus and then attribute name is requested ship date. I will now give it a plus on. So your record set can ex exist only for one of these attributes actually. You can create a record set only for this now. Fine. So I will now go for a requested ship date. Requested ship date. So only the predefined uh, uh, what happens? The values can a record set can be created only for this. So you know what I mean? Give us save now. So you can now see it's now save. So we have now created a record set for a predefined attribute. This is now complete. Now go to the validation rule sets. Next is what you go to the validation rule sets. You go to the next tab region called the validation rule sets. In right to left, you have to flow now. You click on plus. Now I'm now going to create a validation rule set. So go there, click on it. So here I will now say RSD va uh, um, validation. Fine. RSD validation is the one. Record set. Go there. I will now say K99. RSD underscore validation. We are not creating it. So take a copy of it and put it in the description. So we are not creating a validation. So having record set, we have created for the record uh, requested ship date. We have created the record set. Now in the validation rule set, I am not creating a validation rule set. So it's what is called RSD validation. So I will now give a short name for this. So it's a K99 underscore uh, uh, requested ship date validation. So only this many characters are accepting it. Okay, go there. 
So validation tape is about table and then order header. I will not choose it. I will not choose it as a table now. And then here it is for order header. We will not try to save now. We will not see whether it allows or not. It is not allowing it. In the record set, it doesn't allow. Otherwise, you add the attribute now. So here, the validation rules, once when you are creating it, what happens is allowing you to do it. Then afterwards, add, a, in the, add the validation va details in the bottom as the requested shape table. So go there. So here in the validation, let's click on plus now. They're okay, going to give a plus now. Plus. Okay, go there. I will not choose the requested ship date now. Requested ship date, I'm choosing it now. Requested ship date. I chose it now. So here, the validation operation is less than now. So less than. Less than. And it is assisted. Here, there is no uh, list of value icons. We only have to write it now. Right? Sys date. So if this is there, then this validation will trigger actually. This validation is going to trigger. And it will give us save. So we have now created a validation rule now. And this is on the going to work on the order header now. So if this validation phase, if the request date is less than this date is now filed, it becomes on now. This is now going to become on. Now we have to make this validation work on the record set actually. We have to make the validation work on the record set and do that. So having created the record set as well as the validation rule set, you have to generate it now. If you don't generate it, we cannot put on the constraints at all. Constraints cannot be created. So after these two things, we have to generate. Now, without generating it, I will not go on and try to create a constraint. So it's not done. So the validation is not completed. Now, we have to click on the generate package button to create it. Now, now we will now go to the constraints tab region and then let us now create a constraint. So we are not done this. We will now see but how it is going to reflect. Now. I will now give a plus and then I will now give a constraint name. I will not go to the constraints now. I have only saved it and then I have not generated it now. I go to the constraints and then here, what happens? I'm not going to create what a constraint. So constraints and then I will not give a plus. I'm going to create a constraint. So I will not say what a yeah, constraint I'm going to create now. <coughs> I will not say a key 99. Just to trip date constraint. A constraint I'm creating it. So you go there. So you are creating a constraint and take up it and up here. Display name. I will not give a short name for this one. So K99 and RSP. And the entity on which I will write now on the header now. So drop it down. I will not choose the order header now. And then the constraint operation now. So it's on a submit. So this constraint is going to fire upon submit only. And there are plenty of operators are there. And cancel. When, whenever you're doing any of these activities on the sales orders, they'll be firing. So in this case, what happens, I'm now putting it on the submit. On the submit. So the operation, on operation action is not allowed. Fine. Submit is not allowed, actually. Submit is not allowed. In the orders. It is not editable. I don't know why it's so. So constraint automatically is not going to not allow any of these operations, actually. So that is what, there's a standard one only. We're not allowed to go. And then or add the details below. By choosing the validation set, and the validation set is what it is. What requested date less than this date is the one. I go there. Choose our validation set and record set. Those are the things I'm going to choose in the bottom. I go there. I'm now on this place, and then here, what happens? I can now see K99 RSD is a short name. The details are there. I click on plus. So we are going to create it. Click on plus. So I now go there. Group number is one now, and then it is on the order writer. Go there. Drop it down. I will not choose the order writer. All right. We can even have an inverse of it now. Fine. Just like in EBS also we have inverse. So here, if you go and then drop down your validation set, it will not come at all. If you go there, click on drop down, it will not appear at all because it is not generated actually. So once when you create your record set and validation set, you have to generate the package. Then only we can do it on the constraints. The constraints can do it. So now also you can delete, no problem. Now click on generate packages. I'm generating it now. Oh God, there's no ask for it. Let me delete the line now. And then afterwards, wait. I delete the line. And then it is now deleted now. <clears throat> Now, what happens? We go there, give a save now. We are now saving it up to this point. The constraint name is saved now. So, click on generate package. We are now generating it now. The constraint request for generating package validation has been submitted now. So, the confirm is the uh, ESS job is submitted. Fine, go there, click on it. Now, let us add the line now. Keep your cursor on this place. And then here, we will now go on the click on plus now. We are going to add it now. So, group number is one now. And then it is on the order header now. Order header. And then here, the validation set, if you drop it down, your K99 has to come now. Fine, go there, click on it. It is not yet come now. <clears throat> ah, it will not come. I mean, it may even take some time, I think. So, because the concurrent is running on the backend now. So, the K99 has to come now. So, I will not give a cancel. <clears throat> and that will not see about the 
running of the concurrent actually. <clears throat> so tools scheduled to process now. So the gen generation is now fine. Generate constant package has now succeeded now. Fine, maybe go there, click on it now. Uh, and go to the manage processing constraints now again. Go there. What is the constraint say? Yeah, I'll not choose the constraint. I will not give a plus now. <clears throat> so group number is one. And then I'll not drop down the header now. The header. Now it's not coming out Mandichi. We got it now. So our constraint validation has come over here. I know, click on it. You know, come. So this is what is you know come. So any and then what about the record set? The validation rule set and then record set can be put to only when the thing is generated actually. <laughs> record set go down. What happens? I'm not putting my record set. I'm going to click on it. I'm going to click on it. You know, say uh, if RSD is less than system date, point B commit. It is not allowed. So, likewise, what happens? You can even write, uh, I have given everything in caps, it doesn't matter. I'm going to click on save. So, now my constraint will be in Vogue now. The moment the validation set is fired. Once on the system, um, when the validation is fired, this constraint will now fire, and then it is not going to allow the submit at all. It is not going to allow the submit at all. If RSD is less than the system date, what happens? Uh, uh, submit is not allowed. Let us now go there and then make a check of it. Right and click and then go there. So the the call closing constraint is declared, and then so you go there, go to the supply chain, go to the order management, and then you go to the order management here again, and then click on it, and then here you now create an order. <coughs> so. There's a key 99 underscore custom one now. And then here I will now put the item over here now. And key 99 underscore STD standard order will be having sufficient quantity also. Click on it and get add now. So key 99 standard order is now. I click on add now. <coughs> now, since so date is 12th, and then I will now go there and then modify it now. I will now modify the thing as what 10th now. I want it on day first place itself. Now, my processing constraint will not fire upon submit actually. Upon submitting it, what happens is no fire. So it will now make a check of the validation and then the record set, validation record set, and then the constraint will fire and then it will now stop my submission. So it is no less than this. And click on submit now, and now see it's going to stop it. It won't throw another one. <clears throat> so it's now making, making a verification of fine that the warning is coming. Or the processing constraints. A user defined validation failed for the following reason. Fine, if RSD is less than the system date, is not allowed. Submit is not allowed. Likewise, we can reiterate so many processing constraints and then uh, based upon the customer's need. Fine, whatever he says. No, fine. For example, for this customer, do not allow the ordered quantity more than 50 because this guy is a very unsafe guy. Fine, he may even run away. So if by chance, what happens if you are ordering more than 50, stop the submit actually. Likewise, whatever they ask for, you can very well configure it now. It has got only three parts now in this place. One is the record set, and then one is a validation set, and then afterwards you generate the package, and then finally write your constraints. You can do wonders. That is what Oracle says that this is more powerful than EBIS actually. The processing constraints is more powerful than EBIS, and then you can even write many, many things based upon the need. As and when the need comes in, what happens? We will immediately be able to go and then create a record set and validation set for the need. And then accordingly, what happens? Write your constraints. Constraints will be firing for both the validation set and the course set. Is it clear now? <clears throat> so just make an R&D, R&D, and then what happens? You can do wonders on this. And there are no test cases available. Oracle should have given some good test cases so that what happens? You can even there are available. You can now see the seeded ones are already available. Fine for with order deletion. See order deletion. Order deletion is not allowed once when order was what happens? Order was submitted. And then you cannot delete the order because it has been submitted for fulfillment actually. Once when you submit for fulfillment, order deletion is not allowed. Similarly, order line deletion. So they have written some sad uh, things also. So that also you can see. They're all predefined ones that you cannot modify at all. Whatever is the predefined, you cannot do it. So so many predefined are already protecting the sales orders. And then apart from that, if you want, you can even have, write a custom PC and then protect your sales orders. So this is on the processing constraints. On the defaulting rule, uh, what happens? We have to make a small equipment and then and try and then find out. The next topic is what uh, will now go for. Uh, what's called you are this thing. Uh, 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 what this thing will now? The next topic is a manual uh, split. Actually, you will now see a manual split on this. So before which, what happens? Now go and then see. Uh, click on it. I will now have a look at the stock now. <clears throat> oh, I will now oh, I will cancel now. We'll now have a look at the stock of the STD. Now, if I click on it, we'll go there. 
ಅದು ನಾವು ಗುಡು ಸಪ್ಲೈ ಚೈನ್ ಎಕ್ಸಿಕ್ಯೂಷನ್ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಗುಡು ಇನ್ವೆಂಟರಿ ಮ್ಯಾನೇಜ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಕ್ಲಿಕ್ ಆನ್ ಇಟ್ ಕ್ಲಿಕ್ ಆನ್ ಐಟಮ್ ಕ್ವಾಂಟಿಟೀಸ್ ನೋ ಮ್ಯಾನೇಜ್ ಐಟಮ್ ಕ್ವಾಂಟಿಟೀಸ್ ಸೋ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ನಾಟ್ ಪುಟ್ ಮೈ ಐಟಮ್ ಫೈನ್ ಕೋಡ್ ಎಸ್ ಟಿ ಡಿ ಅಂಡ್ ಗಿವ್ ಇಟ್ ಆಪ್ ನೋ ಫೈನ್ ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡರ್ಡ್ ಆರ್ಡರ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಕನ್ಸರ್ಚ್ ನೋ ನೋ ಸಿ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಸಫಿಶಿಯಂಟ್ ಕ್ವಾಂಟಿಟೀಸ್ ಟು ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸಾಕ್ಟ್ ಆರ್ ನೋ ಅಂಡ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಇಟ್ ನೋ ಸೋ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಒನ್ ಸೋ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಅನ್ ಆರ್ಗನೈಜೇಷನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಒನ್ ವಿ ನೋ ಸಿ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ 1495 ಇಫ್ ಯು ಕ್ಲಿಕ್ ಆನ್ ದಿ ವ್ಯೂ ಅವೇಲೇಬಿಲಿಟಿ ವಿ ನೋ ಸಿ ವಾಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಟೋಟಲ್ ಅವೇಲೇಬಿಲಿಟಿ ಇಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಅವೇಲೇಬಲ್ ಟು ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸಾಕ್ಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ರಿಸರ್ವ್ ಇಸ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ 489 ಆಕ್ಚುಲಿ 489 ಆರ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಅವೇಲೇಬಲ್ ಟು ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸಾಕ್ಟ್ ರಿಸರ್ವ್ ಫೈನ್ ದ ರೆಸ್ಟ್ ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ಅವೇಲೇಬಲ್ ಆಕ್ಚುಲಿ ದಟ್ ಮೇ ಬಿ ಇನ್ ಬುಕ್ ಬೈ ಸಮ್ ಅದರ್ ಸೇಲ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ಡರ್ಸ್ ಸೋ 489 ಇಸ್ ಅ ಕ್ವಾಂಟಿಟಿ ಫಾರ್ ಅವೇಲೇಬಲ್ ಟು ರಿಸರ್ವ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸಾಕ್ಟ್ 489 ಇಸ್ ದ ಒನ್ ಸೋ ನೌ ಇಫ್ ಐ ಕ್ರಿಯೇಟ್ ಅ ಸೇಲ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ಡರ್ ಫಾರ್ 500 ಯು ವಿಲ್ ನಾಟ್ ಸೀ ಇಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ನಾಟ್ ಗೆಟ್ ಇಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ನಾಟ್ ಇಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ನಾಟ್ ಸ್ಟಾಪ್ ಪ್ರೋಗ್ರೆಸಿಂಗ್ the scheduling itself will fail and scheduling and reservation is going to fail so we have only 4895 over the time so let us now create a sales order go that click on no go on and get a sales order so for the standard order i am going to create a sales order of final quantities so you go there you go to the order management and then click on the order management so click on create order so i will not put my customer over here now 1499 <clears throat> and then customer so here go there i will now put k99 underscore std and then give it i will not go for 500 quantities remember we have only 489 available here it says no data retrieved at all the stock will come only when you have a gop license we are going to see the gop also so once when the stock, gop is license is there then it will not show a stock actually i will not i will not simulate and show it you during gop i know that so if gop license is not there it will not say no data retrieved fine that it is exactly equivalent to what in ebis what happens the atp not applicable now in ebis will not say atp not applicable and then there of course we can see the stock actually here we cannot see the stock and then uh, uh, asr has been raised also fine uh, there for a modification that what happens here we should show available to transact over here now fine oracle is working on our sr and then uh, uh, i think sometime back they created an enhancement request but it is not showing it's not there at all in or in oracle we have the excellent facility or what you can now see what is the stock available now available is available you know it is not showing at all so go there so if gop license is not that with the gop you can do under so i am going to go for final quantities remember 489 is only available for transact and reserve now so click on add now let us go there and wait in organization 1 click on you know put the organization 1 over here now so you go to the supply area <coughs> here and then i am putting the organization so it's a key 99 so child 1 i am putting it so in the general area it's okay when demand is okay now i'll now submit it so click on save the order is now created so we are now creating the order with 500 quantities now 10015 is now created fine click on submit now now the red flag will come because we don't have sufficient quantity for for the buzzer picking actually the reservation phase okay user defined valuation uh how come this is coming now this 12 12 oh god somewhere i will not say the need is over 13 i will not put fine that has to, there's something some problem on the timing or something like that not fine i'm accepting it now so the request date is more than this is state fine click on save <clears throat> and then click on submit this is an error now click on it now i'll again submit now and so click on submit so this time what happened the order will be submitted now fine that is now submitted that is now uh, something on the uh, hours and minutes or something like that because of it will not come now if you refresh it will now fail actually you will not see the scheduling failure actually oh god it has gone to the approval now fine and the approval i have not disabled it now fine with the click on the approval information so we are now going to upload now approval has to be disabled now fine is it gone to emp2 now <laughs> okay we are now i have not disabled the approval because of which is not coming fine let me go there and approve it also yesterday we have seen on the approval so fine with the click on it so let us now log in with, with the thing you know it will now approve it now going to approve so i now say k99 underscore emp2 now fine with so it's not coming fine click on sign in designing it let us now approve the sales order so it has now got the approval if you know, go to the notification directly it will not show you 10015 will be coming to approval thank you on it you know open it up and then it has now approved it i have disabled the approval actually let it go now so the 500 quantities which can get on approval is now approving it emp2 is now approving it now so now you we'll know go back to emp1 and then in this place what have we done now and then if you refresh it now this will now go away now fine we've now gone to the processing now you know refresh it. now it has now got approved and then now the error has come the scheduling error has come we'll be getting a scheduling error 
in such cases what happens uh, here what happens uh, credit verification the credit check for the customer has failed over oh, credit check has been disabled <laughs> <laughs> so credit check has come now. Right? Credit check also we tested now. Fine, we are not disabled actually. So it has now crossed that value of a thousand actually. Fine, we have now set up a thousand value. So let us now disable the credit check and then do it. So thousand was the limit which I set yesterday. So credit check limit is now coming in. So that is why what happened? We are now getting this error. Fine. A hold has been applied. This is a credit check hold actually. So we had disabled that also because we are given a thousand value. So go there is no sir. Account on credit hold. The order lines failed and then. So the order line is now exceeding the thousand and dot find are there any cumulative amount what happens is now giving a problem of so let us now go there and then uh, what happens disable this credit check as well as approvals now click on search now they're going to disable what happens so go to manage order parameters so everything is on the order parameters the order parameters go there manage order management parameters let us know Disable both fine here credit check limit on credit limit fine go there all business units I will not say activate credit check I will not make it as no no it will not activate it now click on save now let me know that so credit check is now bypassed and there is one more thing on the credit check fine check credit values at order submit now this is okay uh, uh, on submit is going to say but if this is any disabled it will not fire at all <clears throat> and similarly on the approval sprint also we have to disable now and the approval also we have to disable now go there. Uh, approvals. Uh, another approval. Start approval process. Uh, start approval process for the sales orders. I will not say. So it will never go there at all. Approval process is not. Yeah. So approvals and credit check has been bypassed now. And give us save and close. You go to the manage orders and then here, whatever, there is no refresh now. It is not. It is, now this is what a credit check hold has got applied now. Fine, let us now see what happens. We go there. The credit check limit. Fine, that right. I will not go to the actions and then go to the switch, switch will not view. And then I will not, uh, what happens? I go there, go to the actions and then recover the order. Recovering is not happening actually. I click on refresh now. Fine. The, uh, we have to recover it. I don't know how to do it now. We have to recover the order. Go there. So I will not go to the fulfillment lines and then see now. Fine, the fulfillment lines. I will not the actions, see. we have a recover order option. Okay. Actions and then I'll see recover order there. No, no, that up. Up here, here actions record this oh. date out. It's grayed out. Hey, it's unable to understand. Maybe we have to add a responsibility that uh, uh, maybe, yeah, there are some uh, roles there actually. Mm -hmm. Some roles, will, but recovery is coming till now. We have done recovery many times now. Fine, it's coming for this coming. special case. It has already got a credit check hold now. I will now go there. I will not try to release it now. I will click on actions. Yeah. Okay. I will now release the hold actually. I will click on it. I will not go to the place and then let me release the hold now. So I will not go to the actions and then go to holds and then let me release the hold. Release the hold. Which has not caused this problem. So I will not give a reason. So the credit check hold what happens there? It is not resolved and then I will not give a same and close now. It is not released. Really so it is not. <coughs> now the hold icon has gone now. If you give a refresh, it will not go away. But again, the X mark will come now because you don't have sufficient stop at all. Go there. Because now it is gone now. Now you don't have a sufficient stock because of which what happened the X mark will become. And this is the biggest problem. Find over there. So uh, the sales officer may not be knowing about why it has failed actually. Find over there. Click on it. Now go there. Click on this now. The reservation will fail. I think. The reservation will fail actually. Click over there. Click, click on it. here. The scheduled and then reservation is going to fail actually because we don't have sufficient material. So scheduling is based upon the warehouse now. Warehouse is not already there. Find over there. Click on it. Reservation will fail actually. So it has not failed actually. The reservation has failed. And then the biggest problem for the sales officer is what? She don't know why the reservation is now done. Uh, the order orchestration process failed. Use the appropriate order orchestration. Plan. So create inventory reservation, the one which has failed. But you must know about the stock also. Your reservation was not created because the reservation quantity is greater than the available. They should say how much is the available quantity. Available quantity is not displayed anywhere at all if you don't have a GOP license now. They say you have to have a GOP license. That is very bad. Nowhere you can see the available. If you click we on the can uh, check from uh, available to reserve. Where, where to set now? Uh, only, on that, uh, no, only on that one. Right? Not on the sales order. Oh, we uh, can't check. Place we can, uh, we already checked. Now, fine. We already checked 499 is there and then uh, it is not there. So, we view fulfillment details also <laughs> not show anything. It shows you nothing actually. In the sales order, it doesn't show. We have to go to the other screen and then check now. So, in this case, what happens? You will not perform a line split actually. 
when such a thing happens, or I mean, you know, go there. Go to the Philippine lines, you know, split the line. So you go there. You select it and then you go to the actions and then go to split line. You will not split the line. Split the Philippine line. Because we have to ship it now, fine. We cannot wait on this one. So go to the actions and then what happens? Add a row. You're going to add a row. So here, I have no add a row. I will not put as 489 now. Fine, 488, I'm going to put it now. Click on save. So it lines will get split into two. 488 and then 12. So 488 is now split now, fine. He is not going to split it. Because he has to progress whatever is available, it doesn't But it doesn't show on the sales order uh, how much is there. That is not there. So go there. Check availability is there. Fine. Go there. Click on the check availability. If you go and see, it will not show at all. So if your geo is not there, it will not show. So requested quantity, available quantity is not shown at all. See, available quantity is not shown at all. It says is the wrong information actually. Is the wrong information. I go there. Uh, and then uh, this is a problem on this one. <clears throat> now it's not showing you only one line now. So if you go to the orchestration plan, then click on done and then come out of it. Go there, click on it. And then now when you give it done, it's not showing you both the lines. So I will now keep my cursor on the 488 now and then click on the check availability. Again, what happens? It will not show down. It's not showing you. They say that you need a GOP license. That is absurd. I know, you see. It is not showing me. At actually available quantity is 489 actually. It is not 488 actually. It is not exactly sh correctly showing me. And something is a problem actually here. The requested date quantity is there. Available quantity, whatever you requested is available, that way it's showing. But the total available is not shown there. So click on the now. Now we'll now have a look at this. Fine, click on it. So we are now in this place. And go there. Click on it. Now it has created a separate do number now. A separate do number is now created. Fine, click on this do now. We will not see whether it has no progress or not. And then go to the orchestration plan. Here, what happens? Here, the reservation. User action is required. The reward is taken. We will now reserve it actually. So we will now again go back to the fulfillment lines and then you go to the actions and then reserve it now. You know, to initiate the reward. So once when you split it, it doesn't reserve automatically. There is a geopody also is coming and there is a small problem here. The completion date is not giving a problem. Okay, now, now the warning message is coming. Now it will not progress on the orchestration plan. Okay. So if you give a refresh, it will not go ahead on this. Thing. So this way he will now resolve. And on the sales order line, he cannot see how much of stock is available and then how, how many uh, how much he can split now and that is not available. Reserved and then it is not going to automatically go. This line is now progressing. And then the first line will be having a problem because we don't have material now. Mm -hmm. Had we used the no reservation uh, order type, what happens if it gone to awaiting shipping also? And then in the, in the area, shipping area, you have to take care. Mm -hmm. So this is on the manual split now. Fine. We have seen the auto split also. We will be having a look at the auto split during GOP. And the GOP, what happens? We will now have a look at the auto split. We will now go to the awaiting shipping. So this topic is now complete. We'll have a look at it about how many topics are remaining. Okay, we'll go to C colon. We'll now go to the efficient version box. We'll now we'll open up the 50th one now. 50th one. Page down. So in the order management area, I'm basic order management setups, basic procurement setups. So go down. In this place, go down. Shipping. Point. Uh, shipping setups is there. Is there setups is there? Not done it. Advanced shipping. So we are not done all the activities on the advanced shipping. High level reservation, serial generation, sales order take order issue, and then back ordering the saving area. Fine. Everything we have completed. In the advanced, what happens? We are now advanced order entry. We are now completed the defaulting rules now. Defaulting rules we have to do it. Substitute items. I will now demonstrate it on Monday now. Fine. Substitute is not done. Line split is not done. Do customization, no reservation is not done. Fine. Great order. No reservation, we are done it now. And then the custom is okay, this is all done. Two variables during shipping is also done. Drop ship, we have to do. Fine. We have to do what? Substitute items. And then we have to perform the drop ship now. And sales order approval is now completed. Holds and releases is completed. Credit check is completed now. Kit item is completed. Crossing constraint is completed now. So on the advanced order entry, the substitute item has to be done. And then afterwards, what happens? Your uh, drop ship now. The drop ship. And again, a drop ship is also having some more extra steps. Now. Fine. The substitute item and then drop ship. 
and then afterwards in the pricing what i will do is in the uh, i will now create all the items and then i will now push it into order management by collection refresh right the tired highest tired all tires tired block cost plus pricing discount samples fine all the things fine all the discounts everything i will not do it i will now make all these things now and then uh, in the weekend and then uh, on the monday morning directly we will now go into the pricing and advanced pricing strategy and then start doing it then afterwards the gop will now come to gop has got four topics now fine buy transfer and then uh, drop ship and then back to back make now fine buy transfer and make we are going to see via gop and then finally configure it actually so this much of a topics are pending actually fine. so advanced fulfillment is now pending from guru gop hai and then the pricing is now pending actually the pricing including the advanced pricing of buy one get one free fine that also is pending and then afterwards on the advanced ordinary the substitute items as well as your uh, drop ship are pending actually no transfer orders have we covered transfer, transfer orders order will be covered now transfer order will be covered when you go for this now fine when you go for a back to back transfer other thing what happened the transfer order will be covered so transfer orders we need a gop and then our instance is not having a gop uh, ems are uh, is it having gop vignesh gop uh, global order promising is there na in ems are yeah we have global order promising okay fine yeah only on our called instance the gop license is not there it was not working last time when i tried it was not working so we will now go to the ems are instance for the gop now i will now set it up and then i will now show it to you uh, called may be having configured everything configured may be available fine i will now make a check in the in the weekend now whether the configured is working or not otherwise i have to configure do the configured also only in the ems are instance because here setting up is easy because purchasing procurement inventory everything is set and so what happens uh, we can do it fast but unfortunately we don't have the license now so i have to set up again all these things on mzr now and then uh, once when they set up what happens you can do it so monday we will now begin on the pricing and advanced pricing <clears throat> and then afterwards we will also complete these two things on the substitute items as well as your drop ship also so these two things are going okay good fine so any other questions now fine good then we will now meet on monday morning and then we will now continue on our order management actually bye okay bye thank you